Hi, it's Mika. Uh, today we are supposed to have a storm here in Finland. Um, it's uh, supposed to hit us in next few hours. And uh, today's topic is called finger twister. But the reason why this is called finger twister is it has nothing to do with the weather uh, coming on. Yesterday I was doing guitar lessons and uh, many of the lessons were about uh, melodic improvisation that is based on chords rather than playing scales. And uh, as a side topic uh, I was playing these lines that where your uh, mission is to let the notes ring as much as possible so you get more like this chord like of sounds. And one of my students, Jonas, uh, was uh, very clever to title this approach or technique Twister. Uh, so uh, this shall be Finger Twister. It's not about the weather, it's about the, the Twister game. Before we truly begin, I'll point out the most essential stuff that is uh, part of this tone that you're hearing. First of all, uh, the first thing that my guitar is hooked into is the Sensei pedal and uh, the Zen knob for the sensibility, uh, it adjusts the impedance of the guitar pickups in a, in a great way, it uh, makes the guitar more, well, sensitive and uh, some slight, very easy uh, clipping and uh, uh, some gain stuff there and then uh, the signal goes to the compressor uh, and uh, uh, then the uh, Tube Man Plus Husegetner classic legendary preamp uh, with the clean channel on and then uh, well yeah a very important part I mean like half of the tone is uh, the uh, cabinet setting that I'm having from uh, two notes cab M for all the echo and stuff uh, have a very little little bit of um, dual echo thing from uh, DD500 it's called Twin Peaks that preset and then there's some very subtle shimmer that shimmer is set so dark that you don't really hear it as a shimmer and additionally some hall reverb and SPX symphonic uh, modulation thing is added to the tone uh, hope you like this tone as much as I enjoyed it and uh, yeah let's move on all right finger twister exercise one this one really shows the basic idea. Um, we are fading away the difference between single note playing and chords. Uh, if you play these separately it sounds like a well a melody line or something and uh, but if you let this ring here we have a um, end result is like an actual chord 
only tricky thing is to have that hammer on there. Next example, slightly uh, expanded, so we take uh, some extra notes. Here um, I, well, I, I get to use all the fingers. I start with the middle finger and four finger uh, ring finger. Since the uh, this A note doesn't sustain anymore once I hit the B, I can release that finger and move it to uh, here on G string so I can play that uh, D note. And continue by using the pinky. And again, my forefinger is free to go to finger the F sharp on B string. And the real challenge is uh, how you get that even note pacing and make it sound as pretty as possible. It can sound kind of like a harp or a kantele kind of sound. You're kind of mimicking the open string instruments where you have a lot of strings and you can play all these notes and they ring together. Uh, then uh, next one. The same one, just starting on uh, yeah on the note on D string. And the same idea, you can move um, up and down the, this, the fretboard and I, you could find something like... But I added one extra thing, uh, you can slide pretty easily that last note, so you can do it. Next, I want to point out that with different fingerings, you can get different results. Uh, basically, we have a uh, line that goes like... So, five notes, and uh, depending how you finger these, you can get uh, different notes, uh, ring and sustain in the end. The basic way would be may maybe... So, in the end, you have... these ringing together. But then another optional alternative way to finger this would be... So you would have these notes ringing instead of... And if you want to try a real challenge, uh, you could finger it like... Again, different result. You end up having this nice, uh, slightly dissonant uh, sounding uh, ringing note in the end. This following example is one of my favorites that I use a lot. You might have heard me do this. And uh, it starts with that double stop. Then the, the lower note of these two uh, just keeps going down, step by step. Pull off and slide. Then you try to keep that sustain, sustaining and then play the two notes. And it, here's a slightly expanded version with, uh, with Uh, so we don't start it with a double stop, instead we play them separately. And here you basically let go of this note and I don't think no one will really hear if you sustain it 
that or not. And uh, when you do that, this note, you 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 go uh, you pull off to the A note from B, and then you have that this finger ready to play that one note over here on E string. Here's one example. Uh, Of, um, of line that I could possibly do, uh, improvise. You don't need to sing. Do, 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 do. Uh, here's one really pretty sounding thing. When you play these first, the first notes, you can let these ring together, but then you do that slide and you have to let go. So you kind of uh, create a new uh, sustaining chord-like thing in the end. None of this stuff needs to be fast. It's more about the beauty of, of those ringing notes, making them sound nice. As a uh, final exercise or example, this gets a little tough uh, and tight with the fingers, some extra twister challenge to you. Thanks for watching. Hope you found these exercises and ideas inspirational and uh, you get some new ideas and challenges to your hand. Be kind. It might take a while to get used to these twists and twisters and uh, just keep it sustaining as much as possible. If you're interested, uh, I'm taking new students and just get in touch. Uh, some of the favorite topics that I tend to teach a lot are melodic improvisation, various techniques in phrasing and uh, how to, you know, how to make it more musical. And uh, also fretboard management, surfing the fretboard and modes and understanding how everything is connected, all the scales, modes, chords and arpeggios and things. and. Uh, did I say techniques? I don't know. But anyway, uh, get in touch if you're interested. Uh, we'll uh, take it from there. Wax on. Wax on. <laughs>